This is my industrial sewing machine and this is a model number and the on off button of a whipper stay on the left hand side there. so now I turn it on and then I show you how it works on your machine if you say you have something here uh, I think it means you have it I do many short showing job I usually use uh, this one so now I test it I turn it on first yeah if you this one is move very quick so you may not see it okay I put this one here yeah and if you have a look here you can see it's move very quickly yeah. and then I do the second time and then I do again yeah and now I turn the whipper on up button off to show you what different I put this one I just do this one so you can see the different yeah you didn't hear the the, uh, the sound of whipper anymore so now I just do no more and then I put another one here here and then I go here okay if I don't have a whipper I have the thread left over here I will I have to cut it every time I do the job and I have left over here as well okay so now I turn this one on again if you don't have a whipper you can take the stitching on the top like this and then it's automatic to hide it for you yeah. and now if we have a whipper the thread go up automatically so we don't have to do by hand it work if I have so many many small jobs like this I prefer to use a whipper for my job okay. it is very good for some small job like this and you see it's very clean now we don't have the thread left over yeah. Okay, now I turn off the whipper. Okay, and then you can see how messy is it. If we don't have the whipper here, the thread stay under there. And I do again. Now, yeah, and then I do again here. Okay, so. I have some thread left over on the top here and when I finish the job I have to cut it okay from left to right and then we have a hole here equal um, when you stop the sewing it usually automatic that stay like that it mean the green button will stay the same line with the dot on the left hand side here and if it's not the same you have to adjust it red green white i get red one and i stop and it's automatic um, stay in normal position so now i show you how to take it off and put it in okay to take it off it's very easy I put screw here 
and then I can take this one off. You don't use it, you just turn it very tight and then it stay like normal. Okay, now I put that one in again to show you. It has a little hole here. Yeah. Okay, I put from the right to left and then you can see it. Okay, now I turn this one a little bit in to make it firmer. Yeah. And then I can move it easy now. Yeah, you can see it's not near the needle yet. From the end of the needle, I want to lower 2 mil. So I move it to 2 mil first and then, yeah. And then I adjust it like that. Yeah, it's about 2 mil from the end of the needle. And then now I can move. I just turn this one a little bit. Yeah, it's not enough. So I turn again. Yeah, it's not enough. I turn again. Yeah, it's okay now. Turn again. Yeah, you see it passed the needle here. I turn the on button on to try it. Turn it on. Usually when I do the small job like this, I use the computer on here. I don't usually use this uh, option uh, because when I do on the thin material, it's, it's uh, crooked very much. Okay, by the way, I want to show you how this one works. For example, uh, at the start, I want about two, three stitching at the bottom. I and then I stop. It's automated. And then I start. It automated. And I stop. It's automated. And at the start and the stop, you can see I have two stitching here. If I don't want two, I can do three. Or four something like that and it have an option for me to stop by itself for example I can set one two three and then it stop by itself so uh, I don't use this option very often thank you very much for your watching please support me to give me one subscribe like and share my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon to get my new video from my job every day. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you later.